Today in the grain market, soybeans are surging yet again. Argentina is raising their export tax, and that is good news for the U.S. that possibly all around the world are going to come and start uh, taking our supplies. We're really hoping so. Uh, but this should definitely give the U.S. beans a big lift, as it is, as we see this is happening. But the China deal, uh, you know, says that uh, the number is going to be $40 billion a year. That means uh, upward of 40% uh, of you know, uh, of what we had from our best year, which was in 2012, which was 25 billion. These numbers are really big. Uh, it's a lot to fulfill on the promise side. So there's a little bit of nervousness, although that does not stopping the market from rallying right now. The U.S. dollar index is also coming down. That could possibly be helping. But we've only got a couple of weeks left uh, in the year, and I think that we're going to see a lot more volatility. We've been saying it all along, and as we're, uh, as we're pressing into this year, you know, perhaps we're seeing the opposite of what happened last year. The uncertainty is pushing the markets up as opposed to the downside. Uh, and that being said, corn is also higher. Uh, the big numbers ahead for the China buy has uh, a lot of uh, traders and uh, scrambling to get long some of this corn. Now they're basically uh, plowing through some of these uh, the supply numbers and there's lots of uncertainty and that really is pushing uh, corn higher to kind of a big surprise of some of the traders, but they're saying, yes, of course, these markets are vulnerable uh, to bigger moves. So the futures uh, are on, will follow all the way across all the grains right now. And as we see these markets start to push up, we just haven't been here in a while, haven't seen these markets uh, react the way they do, but we can see that they're going to, that uh, it, a lot of volatility for the next couple of weeks is here to stay, especially with wheat. Wheat today is leaping higher. 22 cents on the Chicago side, on Kansas City, Minneapolis is uh, up as well. All the short covering is just expanding and building a lot more momentum. I think that the, it's got really got a lot of these traders scared. We're pushed way above a lot of these technical numbers. So now we're in kind of a no man's land area. How far will it go? It really, it, it's hard to tell because uh, there's so much happening in the market right now. We're watching to see if we can get anything out of China. If that would uh, give us a little bit of an idea on the, on the details. Uh, that will maybe, uh, you know, give us an idea on, on which direction this thing is going to go. But uh, who knows? Wheat definitely has been a leader in many times when there's been market uncertainty. Uh, could this go up uh, another 50 cents? Possibly. Could it be down 50 cents? Absolutely. I'm expecting that in the, on the grain side alone, we could definitely see a limit move one way or the other before the end of the year.